Hey guys, we're back. Exclusive breaking news. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> Mel and me breaking news back on the scene. Back on I know y'all shocked. Scene. Probably floored to hear from us so quickly. <laughs> Great. We're back on. Listen, God is good. We 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 got a lot of things popping off around here. But uh we want to get straight into the tea tonight because Whitney, look, please introduce the hot topic of this evening because it's just way too juicy. I feel like we've, yeah. we've recorded several podcasts. It feels like everything that's coming up in the headlines, we've covered yeah. in it's previous <laughs> podcasts. I don't know if it's a Pisces thing, an energy Girl. that we just, but anyway, let it loose. Um, yeah, well, in case y'all don't know, some of y'all don't know because it's on no. Shade Room. We don't know shit half the time. I I was late on this because Shade Room didn't post it. Okay, because if you don't know, Shade Room does not post Cardi B. They have not posted Cardi B for about a year now. They fell out. Uh, Shade Room owner and Cardi. So the news is that Cardi B officially filed for divorce from her husband, Offset. I have no idea what his real name is, but Offset from the Migos. Amigos. They, yeah. They've been together for what? Three years now? They have a baby culture. Just I'm, bought a house because I'm obsessed with their realtor. Um, they just bought a big old house. Girl, they probably got seven houses. Shit. Well, this was a big deal for them. Like this house, it was like, What's I think it? they're like true first probably bought house together. Mm. Like they probably rented, but they like went in with this one where they bought it together. But who knows? You're oh, right. They, they showed everybody have... everything. Huh? They showed everybody everything. Like, oh yeah. Well, and the realtor that I follow, I'm friend. Well, I'm friends with one of the girls who's her friend, and mm-hmm. it was just a big mm-hmm. deal. You know, it was this big deal for them to get this house. All right. So, but anyway, and it was just basically, I'm huh. saying that to say it was a cute little moment, and it was like, oh, they're doing, you know, get a little house, purchase a little house, and you mm-hmm. know, seem happy, mm-hmm. whatever. Continue. I find that to be very odd for rich celebrities to make buying a house a big deal. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like a house is like a fucking shoe to them. You know what I'm saying? But Me too. okay. Me too. Um, but that's cool. I mean, I I'm not shocked by it. I think we've had a few episodes where we talked about Offset, his infidelity, Cardi, her apparent, you know, desperation almost to kind of keep her man where he needs to be at home and I think the last time we talked about him was when he got caught uh hiding his phone on live she came in the room he hit his phone and it was so obvious something I don't know you know this man didn't give me husband vibes ever so I mean the whole wedding was shady anyway it, it kind of came out it was a secret it was I don't know if they went got hitched at the courthouse I don't know. Was she pregnant? Was she? I don't know. Uh, I think she was actually. Yeah, I think so. she got her pregnant, and then they got married. Either way, pregnant. Yeah. Neither here nor there. I think nobody's really shocked, you know. But God bless both of them. I feel like this is probably the best move for her. Honestly, I think this could probably really change her life in a good way. Me too. Because Cardi feels like she has some weight on her, like she couldn't really enjoy her fame. You know? Right. Right. And how fun is it to always have your personal, it's one thing to have your personal business out there, but the same personal business that's out there, like, come on. And then, you know, not to mention her beating up bitches because, oh, yeah, I forgot about you that. know, you can't forget about <laughs> that part. It's like, girl, like at uh... what point are you going to stop fighting other women and, taking the same person back. I mean, I get it. We all have a tolerance level, so I'm not judging her, but at the same time, you know, I hate to say it, but good WAP does not stop anybody from cheating. So. Oh, the timing. I just knew those jokes were coming. You you knew they were. (laughs) You knew they were coming. Because they were coming before the divorce. Like they were already here before the divorce. Right. Because they were like, WAP has not stopped off the <laughs> from being in these streets it has um it, 
I, you know, I don't have much to say. But I, I do know. think that it's a good thing for um, Cardi and her career. I think that mentally, just outside of her career, just mm-hmm. as a woman and as a human, you know, when you're out of certain like chaos and toxicity, you're able to be, think a lot more clearer. You mm-hmm. know, it hurts like hell. It's going to definitely be a process for her. She'll probably even backslide a time or two. <laughs> but my point yeah. is, I guess what I'm but saying. But honestly, when you think about it, they've been breaking up for damn three years. Because, <laughs> I mean, remember the whole, remember right when they, it was revealed they were married. Remember Offset, you know, the first cheating scandal happened and he like, follow her on stage and there was a big thing about security allowing him on stage and giving her the flowers and him begging to, her to take him back like they she's backslid you know what i'm saying like she's broken up with this man a few times throughout their marriage um and they just always connected so i think for her to publicly file is is serious like i think she's done i hope so i mean my yeah i i hope yeah. so you know um I'd I like, I, yeah, I, for her sanity, like, I would think that she would, she shouldn't go back, but, you know, yeah. the whole thing. It makes me mama. feel like there's something coming, maybe, that's going to be public that mm-hmm. she wants to sever the, the ties with Offset now before mm-hmm. something comes out that may be more embarrassing to her oh. if she's still with him. You know what I'm saying? This could be her jumping ahead of it. We'll see. Oh. Time will tell. This is day one. So wow, we'll that's that's good. That that could be that too. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, for her sake, I hope that she's completely done. Rip off the band aid one time. Don't backslide. But you know how the story goes. The whole baby mom, baby daddy, you know, situation and all that kind of stuff. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if they definitely still got a divorce but then after not saying that they're gonna full-on get back together but you know just just that little stuff that you look at nene leaks nene and uh greg they got divorced and got back together (laughs) sure (laughs) Sure did did. they sure did and a real love story right there uh i mean i mean you gotta really love a nigga to marry him twice and vice versa like i think that the love is definitely there between nini and greg for sure i think that nini was probably more of i'm not even going to call her the problem because i'm not saying that i'm sure greg from things that we've seen you know it was definitely a difficult space for both of them to be in but it just seemed like in some of those episodes when they were not together and she was dating those men or certain men or whatever the case was (laughs) It just seemed like I think that she felt like something was better out there for her. And we, as we all should, if we're completely done out of a relationship, sure, there's always something better on the other side that we at least hope to believe in. But I think when she got out there, she was like, you know what? Ain't shit out here. Let me, ain't shit really out here going on. Let me, let me go back. Let me go back. Cause I know Greg is still single child. Uh, yeah Greg you know that's him. how I took it. it was like she she thought you know what I can do better like listen and she went out there tested the water was like man this is some bullshit y'all can have this life I'm going to get my man <laughs> I'm going to get my man yeah, who knows but who knows um but yeah con- I don't even want to say congrats to Cardi but you know cheers to Cardi and I hope that this is a uh, a new a new just a new start for her and um you know she can really really live in true happiness because Mm -hmm. i know that these type of situations i know she's been probably sick behind the scenes yeah and this is also like you know this is intertwined with her career because she severed her ties most recently with um quality control which is Mm -hmm. like the the label that Migos and Cardi were under because of, you know, some legal issues that Migos had going on with uh, PD, whatever his name is, the head of quality control. Right. Um, 
so they walked away. Cardi walked away with them. And her deal or her standing is kind of messed up. That's why she didn't really have no music and stuff. And then she got, you know, that WAP song that just dropped. But I think she's still trying to settle that on the back end. And she kind of walked away with her man over bad business. You know what I'm saying? And now it's implementing, it's implicated her business. And all that shit is just intertwined. And I kind of see, uh, what's her name? Sweetie. 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 I love her. (laughs) I like her too. She has a good personality. I see her and Quavo being like the next Cardi being offset or what they wanted Cardi being offset to be. I don't know. (laughs) The happy couple. I really, really like them as a cup, like as a couple, Sweetie and Quavo. Is that his name? Quavo. Um, I'm sure that there's stuff going on behind the scenes, but from what they show us, from the things that we see that they put out, they're a cute couple. Um, but I, set aside from, you know, the relationship, I just like her. And yeah, I just like her. Quavo. I just yeah. like her. I don't really know much about Quavo. I love the Migos. I like the stuff that they've done um, for yeah. the culture. Um, as far as the music, but as far as them personality wise, I think that I'm a rock with you on the one. What's the one? The third one. Um, oh, take off. Yeah, that's my favorite. Take off. Uh, he's probably the only one where I'd be like, you know what? What's what's mm-hmm. he got going on? Because I'm just so rock with you because he'd be so behind the scenes, child. Um, so low key. And Melanin Me OGs who been rocking with us since before we were Melanin Me. Okay, if you go back to Black Coffee and Tea podcast, our early, early episodes, Scavenger Hunt, there is a little nugget <laughs> of firsthand information where, you know, Heard it first here, we saw that there was some infidelity going on firsthand with Cardi B and her husband Offset. Um, shit. So I'm just saying, this mm. has been. This has been simmering. And for might we add, even turn down an interview yeah. with a big name in social yeah. media. A big influencer. Yes. To not be so far knee deep in the drama. Okay. Yeah, it was just, it was getting too real. It was getting too much. It was getting yeah. bigger than what it actually was. I just it was getting too real. We didn't want to make this thing bigger than what it was, but right. I knew that what's done in the dark comes out in the light. So shit, here we are a year later and yeah. That's so question. that's, that's that on that. And, um, you know, if you guys, Oh, you know who else is getting divorced today? Ooh. Ray J. I'm not divorced today, but Ray J filed for divorce to appear. Again. We need to stop. She filed and then he tried to beat her to the punch. I'm so sick of these men trying to beat these uh, okay. to the punch. Like, she was in talks about filing for divorce. We know this from several different interviews, articles, social media. She's very famous for talking about how, you know, she and her baby were left at some award show yeah. and she was pregnant and blah, blah, blah. So all of that to say, we know that there has been chaos and confusion in that relationship, that marriage, okay? So the fact that he is now filing is kind of like, okay, all right. But, you know, and he's filing for joint custody. So that's also smart move because, and I'm not, I'm not on one side or the other when I say that. I'm just saying like a lot of times, you know, there's this stigma when people get divorced, now they're going to have to pay spousal support and these huge lump sums of child support. Mm-hmm. So the fact that he's trying to, uh, file for joint custody um you know that says a lot as well so yeah whole bunch of drama they whole bunch of drama but you can tell couples that just are not happy even the ones where you may think that they're happy if they've had any kind of news surrounded around them or any kind of press it's just like an energy or a cloud over these couples these days where you're like Mm-mm. so Right. you know no relationship goes for me <laughs> it's just like oh they Period. cute y'all real cute oh you cute you know that's all I say like oh they cute or them some cute pictures 
but that's mm-hmm. about as far as I take it. I don't, not even Sierra and Russell. Again, they cute. No one. They Everyone. are cute. I love how he loves her publicly. Mm-hmm. Um, and her kids, their kids. But I don't know shit beyond that. We okay? don't know behind closed doors what's happening. We don't know. We Period. just are spectators, just oh. like everybody else. So, but 2020 is the year, y'all, which I said, and we're not done with it yet. Things will come into perfect vision. Things getting clear. Very clear. Okay, the real is revealing themselves. The fake, they're revealing themselves as well. And things will fall by the wayside if they're not meant to be. All right. And that's what's happening, basically, basically. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> the takeaway is keep your house in order okay yeah whatever that means for you clear out shit clear out the negativity you know and follow what makes you happy girl Period. yeah a mess um and yeah, when a person sport. shows you who they are girl just believe, believe them the first time just believe them believe them Honestly, the first time definitely in- believe them the second time Especially when you get them intuition, them gut feelings, those little key indicators yes. that keep trying to make you feel like you're crazy. No, 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 no. Okay, guess what? I've been saying it for a minute. Right. People, little these little low blows, the backhanded compliments. Okay, the the friends that don't uh, act like they don't see your success and they talk to you every damn day. Those motherfuckers. <laughs> Amen. And they'll reveal themselves. They've been revealing themselves. I mean, I got to make a testament. Definitely in 2020, I've just had people just, just take off the mask. Goddamn, just <laughs> unzip, it away. unzip the bodysuit, girl, <laughs> and step into who they truly are. Like this is crazy to me, but it's also a blessing because I appreciate finally being, you know, revealed the truth and knowing that how I feel, you know, intuitively. I, I'm not crazy. I can trust my gut feelings. I can trust when I feel like someone's low key throwing shade at me. I can trust when I feel like some weird shit's going on behind the scenes, even though I have no proof. Right. I trust all of it and call it a woman's intuition, call it Pisces intuition, whatever you want, but trust it. Trust <laughs> it. Yes. Girl. Period. This is random as heck before we wrap up. I know this is a short episode, but I did want to mention that the mm-hmm. Kardashian show, after all these years, have finally been canceled. This season is like their final season. I thought we'd never see the day. Um, There'll be so many spinoffs. I don't. I don't even think the spinoffs has, have been surviving because all the ones they've had, like the Kylie one, I think that was canceled. Um, I don't know. It's just making me feel like all my little. Cause I made a conscious decision to stop watching the Kardashians like right. maybe a year ago or two. Man, no, it's been a few years now. It's been like two or two or three years now. It just makes me feel like all my little conscious decisions to stop supporting what I don't really believe in. It's like, oh, okay, it's paying off little by little. <laughs> yep. Yep. Not to say I want to see you know people's shows get canceled, but I just felt like the narrative was being just spun in just a crazy direction with the Kardashians and I guess now we'll see them more so in politics and shit. So, well, we'll see Kim. (laughs) We will see Kim probably continue in politics, but everybody else, child, they still be acting sleep. Um, but they have a ton of babies with us. Okay. Have a ton of babies with chocolate city over here. They're the next generation. As soon as those kids can read a script or, you know, whatever. Oh yeah. They're going to have their own show. Chris is definitely going she's already got the plan laid out for that please and believe trust and believe yeah so yeah I think it's interesting um that everything is just kind of the world is just kind of conspiring everything it just feels like the year of endings and beginnings yeah because when there's an ending there's beginning basically mm-hmm. <laughs> one person walks out guess what another one walks in Shit. one door closes another one opens god another damn it hey, you finna that walk through that motherfucker okay <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and detachment is definitely being practiced learning how to detach 
Yeah. Let me speak on that. Attachment is a very, very real thing. Yeah. People are, and especially in friendships and relationships and relationships that extend over into family members, mm-hmm. you can literally be so over somebody, but stay in a situation because of attachment. Attachment is a real, real thing. And I think people overlook that and they tend to make it deeper than what it is. And it's Mm -hmm. just attachment. There's no feelings behind that. There's nothing more to it behind that. It's the fact that you've just, that's just become your, your comfort and your complacency and you just are attached. Like it is a real thing. You will fuck around and think that you still, you have feelings and it's it's nothing there. It's just detachment Mm -hmm. and it's okay to detach. It's okay to be able to compartmentalize your feelings and what's real and what's fake or what feels fake and what's real. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and literally do a clean house and be like, all right, when this person's gone, do I really miss them? Or is it that I need them and I can't do what I need to do by myself? Like, Mm -hmm. like really take inventory of what's going on in your life because- And hindsight is definitely 2020. Always 2020. Look back, you're like, damn, why was I even tolerating this? Because- Why was I tolerating? Like, oh What was I getting out of this, actually? (laughs) Exactly. Oh, I was going this, this, that, this, that, and the third for this person, and they did nothing for me? Okay. Exactly. So (laughs) attachment is a, I'm glad you brought that up, because I had to speak on that. I I was like, okay, yeah, uh uh-uh. Because there's been too many times where, you know, I've thought something looked like something, and I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. This is just that. This is all, this is all that this is. Okay. And if I can get over this or I can detach myself from this right now, I'm going to be good. So Mm -hmm. don't confuse attachment Mm -hmm. to where you feel like, you know, you have to hang on or you have to hold on because of something more meaningful. No, Mm -hmm. no. Cut them in. Uh, Cut them dead ends. Yeah. It's really freeing. Actually, like it feels great. Yeah. It's just detached to things that just no longer serve you, period. Period. If, I mean, it's not easy, but it feels No, lighter. it's it feels definitely lighter. not easy. Not having to, you know, check over your shoulder and make, you, you know, is there a knife coming or is it there? Shit, I don't know. Like, <laughs> it feels Somebody really laughing good. at me is, am I out here looking crazy for the 10th time? Um, you know, these nine times, you know, I, I've been looking crazy, but they apologize. So it's like, no, mm-hmm. just take And I just had a friend come to me the other day. I'm not going to name any names uh, so she can stay anonymous, but she knows that I am the crazy person, quote unquote, who you know, who will notice my friends in real life who don't like my pictures or who don't comment on my pictures or, you know, people who unfollow me and then follow me back. Like I notice all those little things. She knows that about me. She knows I'm freaking crazy. (laughs) So she came to me and she said, Whitney, you're the only one I feel like I can talk to you about this. (laughs) But my friend, you know, I'm just noticing, I'm just now noticing that she's never liked any of my pictures (laughs) ever. (laughs) I'm just like, oh damn well girl to me that means something if you feel like it don't mean nothing great but clearly it means something because you're coming to me about it you know what I'm saying exactly I'm just like follow how y'all feel about that but we had a whole episode about social media and I think it 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 is a chance it is an opportunity for you know people who cannot express in real life sometimes how they feel about you as an opportunity to kind of get that out um in a way that you can't really hold them accountable for it because it's just social media right so. exactly it's just social media <laughs> just social media it's only just social media when someone's not going through it because if they're going through that same situation then they see exactly what you're talking about so yeah. and it'd be the same people who be like it's just social media but they're the ones on it majority of the day and it's mm-hmm. like if it was just social media lurkers you guys have you guys are the worst because you the guys worst. actually spend a lot of your time just looking and observing so if we the people who are posting and we're you know putting things out there that are like whatever and all you're you're just looking like you're the worst kind because if we didn't do that you wouldn't have shit to lurk on like so quit being a hater like whatever just 
unfollow me. If you don't yeah. like me, if you don't like what I'm doing, if what I do and what I post or who I am makes you feel some type of way, Girl. level up. <sighs> yeah. I know this year, especially I have, I've definitely kind of removed my feelings when, when it comes to, to social media and stuff like that. I feel more business minded towards social media now. Like I really see it as a tool and I think it's empowering. And as much time as we spend on there, I think it's, you know, how we built our social media up and the opportunities that are coming. I feel like social media is a great tool right now, especially in the times we're in. So, and I feel like if you're not capitalizing on social media, if you have a business or you have, um, a, a, a passion project or anything that you're trying to do. Mm-hmm. And you're one of those people that are like, Oh, I'm not really, you know, I don't like get into it. If you are not yeah. utilizing social media, if you are not utilizing some of these social sites like LinkedIn, LinkedIn, if you are a true professional outside of entrepreneurship, maybe entrepreneurship, get on LinkedIn network, grow your network. Like, People can't find you. People can't interact. People don't know what you have going on. You don't have to necessarily be a person that's like the person, the face, but you need to utilize these resources because baby, this is the way that it's going and it's not going away. So get into it or get left like Blockbuster and here we are with Netflix, okay? So it is what it is. Um, But yeah, for sure. Yep. So make sure y'all stay tuned, y'all. This is a quick little episode. Um, Got some things going up really soon, some giveaways and some opportunities, like we're talking about business. So some opportunities for you guys to make some money as well. Right. Until next time, it's been real. You will start seeing a lot more of us. Um, We have a huge announcement coming up that we cannot wait to share with you guys. So stay tuned, turn your notifications on and um, interact with us, like, share, comment, all of the above. Um, Follow us on Instagram, Facebook. I'm sorry. No, not Facebook. Instagram. Our Facebook was hacked, y'all. It was so I don't know who hacked our Facebook. I don't even like talking about it. It scares me. We can't even get Facebook to, to, to know what's up. They believe like, us. They don't even believe that we are. I mean, oh God, I don't, it's, oh God, I have chills. <laughs> We're done. We're done with Facebook in our page. Just follow us on Instagram. Spotify. 30, yeah. Apple iTunes. Podcast. Melanie Me everywhere. Melanie Me.com. We're oh, everywhere. So. Gosh, that just really gave me chills. Sorry. I forgot yeah. all about that. <laughs> Upgrade y'all passwords, okay? Make sure to make those passwords strong. Strong. Yes. All of what she said. <laughs> Damn it. Haters! Are... They're not catching us slipping again. They not, okay? They not. They not gonna do it. They not gonna do it. Listen, yeah. They not gonna do it. No. Nope. All, All right, right, y'all. Till next time. Bye. Peace.